There is a podcast no one asked for. A podcast you never knew you didn't want. Three beers in. This is the podcast. I anticipate a deeply religious experience. Thanks for joining us on Three Beers In. This is Ross. This is Clint. Joel's Joel's there. there. This is Tony. And Cutter's here. This week we are doing our third craft beer club selection. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey, Ross, where's this beer from? This one is from San Antonio. All the way from San Antonio to... Motherfuckers, that's right down the road. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Bamboozled (laughs) again. It's like, why are we paying to have this delivered? We can just have it... You can just pick it up at our local liquor store, or H-E-B, if we're fancy like Tony. Anyway, okay, so... <laughs> That's uh, Central Market. Yeah. The two breweries we're doing this time are Alamo from and, San Antonio. And Rusty Rail from Pennsylvania. So there are two beers from Alamo? Yeah, there's, there's always yeah. two beers from we each have, of the breweries. We have an IPA and a oh, Vienna okay. Lager, which we'll see if it's better than the Vienna Lager from Big Live Mark. Oak. It's probably but not. That's right. <laughs> it's probably not better? Where is it from? San Antonio. Oh, well, okay. It's up in the air. No, nah, I, I don't. Yeah. That did not All right, but this is up. the Alamo Indian Paleo. Yeah. Alamo Beer Company Indian Paleo. Yeah. It'll, Which it'll probably get, means... It'll get you punching Mexicans. <laughs> wow. It's a reference, not racist. <clears throat> sort of half Dave Chappelle, half... Well, I mean, they won, so... Uh, not that battle. Yeah, that battle. Oh, Mexicans. Yeah. Oh no, I thought you were not, not Texas. Texas did not win that battle. They won Gonzales though, Aww. where they shouted, "Remember the Alamo." <laughs> did they actually shout that out? Yeah. Was it Gonzales or, uh, or Remember the Alamo? Yeah, San Jacinto. On, it was Remember the Alamo and Remember. Remember me. Remember me. Remember me. Something else. San Jacinto. 9-11? I think they won San Jacinto. No, they San won Jacinto. San Jacinto. Yeah. Jacinto. They probably yelled it at both battles. I don't know. So, first taste. Crystal clear, really. Oh, yeah. That's pretty nice. That's nice, not a taste. That's nice not a taste. head. That is part of it. What if What if my urine looks like this, guys? Uh, mm, you need to drink more water. Yeah, okay. a lot more. You're probably not drinking peeing a whole lot. But if lot. it tastes like this, then yeah. we're on a whole it smells like rye bread. And line like up, it. guys. Yeah, the smell isn't bad. The smell is not bad. There, there's, it smells bready. There's some hops in there. Yeah. I mean, it's not. Uh, it's citrusy. It smells like r- rye bread. Ooh. Ooh it tastes, tastes like an IPA, terrible. though. I, I disagree. It's more bready. There's it has a, more it, bread, bread interesting note. taste to it. Yeah. Hop forward. Oh, yeah. No, I no, get that it's now. it's not hop forward. Well, it's definitely, yeah. there's definitely hops there. Oh, there's, there's hops. definitely hops. Yeah, but ugh. yeah, there's the hops definitely. Are, hops. To me, it doesn't hit you in the front; it hits you in the mid palate, though. Yeah, yeah, nice. yeah. The front is more bready, and really, and I mean, mid, to, mid to late is all hops. So they describe it as a classic American style IPA with a refreshing citrus flavor and aroma. I'm not getting a whole lot of that. Pours with a I, I a tight head that explodes with hop aroma. Whoa! Brewed, hey. brewed with pilsner and Vienna malts. Okay, that that's the Vienna malt. Uh, yeah. Malts, hop, and courage. And <laughs> <laughs> yes, what the, what the, remember the Alamo. That's my, that's my job. I'm reading off the label. Yeah, it, uh, it with trio of hops, American cluster, Cascade, and Citra. Mm-hmm. This IPA is well balanced and pairs well with aromatic cheeses, cheeseburgers, hot wings, and Greek salads. I like it. This okay. is it's an IPA. I, I yeah, hate no, I, I, I'm not a fan of it either. I hate it. But <laughs> um, I'm not a fan. I'd probably say nope. zero. I'd anything else on the menu. I'd try. Even if it was another IPA, a tropical IPA, probably would, I'd, I'd try. Would you try this. an amber from them? Yeah, oh well, yeah, I tried right. an amber from. Well, you're going to. Oh, thanks. Okay. Um, Speaking of amber, but I do like that this is a little bready. I, I do like that. It's not enough. It, no. It's still got that IPA. It's still. Oh, has I mean, it, it, the is, hops. it is an really? IPA. It's supposed no, to have I know. that hops. I know. Um, 
Not I, interesting. I am surprised Although at how bread it is. Circles IPA, Circles archetype, their historical IPA is is a lot more subdued. But this is an American IPA, and that's historical not. IPA. Yeah, exactly. So historical, like a fox. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's from The Simpsons. Is it? Yes, Lemon of Troy. But anyway, yeah. So zero for me, really. What, what yeah. do you think? You're, it's zero for you, Clint. Of course, Clint is yeah. choking these down. This he, is, anytime there's an IPA on here, he just wants like, to finish it right first. now. Yeah, yeah. All, he, he wants to get. get all done I with have that. is bitterness on my tongue, and it's so bad. But you have bitter, bitterness in your soul. Is where you. <laughs> I do. That it too. Come, so, yeah. Clint, is it the front end or is it the back end? It's the back end. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because the front end doesn't taste bad. No, 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 it no. is that like. Almost most metallic IPAs, taste honestly, in your mouth? Most IPAs don't taste bad on the front end. It's just the, it lingers. the, bitter, the, the harsh bitter. hops on the back end that yeah, is super yeah, bitter and yeah. just kind of bites. A lot it of people sucks. like that bitter. And that's I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan. No. I, no. It's a if you if you are pairing foods though, like hot hot wings, perfect. I can't thing. pair the I can't pair P- anything yeah. with alcohol. Something really. that you want oh. Really? You don't drink beer with your, uh, or alcohol I, in general? I do. No, he does no. drink beer. He just doesn't drink it. No, no, with food. That's, <laughs> I can't, like, He's got a hot dog up his butt. So, so. why yes. eat? Is that considered this, this is why I, This is why I have to hot dog it because <laughs> I can't actually. Let's call back to our previous episode. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. The viewers of just this episode might not understand. This, so, this but. episode can't come out before. <laughs> so, they the, won't understand. So, yeah. the, the no, bread taste is the hot. Dog dog bun. Bun. Wait, did you put uh, bun in also? <laughs> no, see, see, you don't need the bun when <laughs> you have really malty I already, beer. I already had the bun. I repeat, the hot dog is in the bun. <laughs> so but no, um, it's in the basket. Uh, <laughs> Damn! Once oh. again, I've sort of lost my train of where I was going. Uh, you can't you can't pair food with oh with alcohol. yeah because the alcohol taste becomes so overpowering on my palate. So it's what just about how it works? What food about the accentuates Einhorn. the alcohol flavor? Yeah, I don't. I imagine I wouldn't be able to really pair that with food and have okay. it and have it still be enjoyable. Yeah. I enjoy alcohol when I think it, I'm not eating, but once I start eating, it's just it's. Like a burning alcohol. What sensation. about Dunkaroos? <laughs> Ooh, uh, <laughs> once again, you need to hear Smiling the, Kangaroo, the episode we just recorded before <laughs> this one. Uh, but what, uh, what about a handy snacks under the table? <laughs> I'll take a handy. I, I'm not the afraid, table. <laughs> but <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Do they still make handy snacks? I think uh, they do. They still make them under the table. <laughs> they still make them under the table. I, I just want that little red plastic piece. Oh, I, bet you, do. Oh, I bet you do. I bet you do. Little red plastic. <laughs> <laughs> to spread that fake cheese over those fake crackers. Oh, man. Yeah. Their cheese isn't Look, even in like quotations. You're yeah. eating a- <laughs> Why is family friendly in quotation marks? <laughs> <laughs> Why is that ham in the handy snack so watery? <laughs> oh. Why is there ham in handy snacks? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Next time I go to HEB, I'm going to look for all of these things, so, yeah. and I will snap photos if I find them. You should ask. You should be like, "Hey, uh, can you? Are you? Can I? Are you finding everything okay? Actually, uh, point me to the Dun- goddamn Dun- 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 <laughs> All right, well, Dun- 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 time machine over there in the corner. <laughs> what time machine did you come out of? They take me to the fucking graham crackers and cake frosting. <laughs> No, goddamn. There it. you go. <laughs> Check out Grandpa over here. <laughs> he still thinks Dunkaroos are a thing. I saw them on a BuzzFeed list like five years ago. <laughs> they were the 90s. Oh, yeah. They're still making Whatever. Sunny D, though. Oh, oh man. God. I want that purple stuff. They still have a bunch of like runoff waste yeah. that they're like. <laughs> Well, we well, got this super fun side. One of, my, so. one of my favorite stories about my uh, my mom tells about uh, meeting my dad's family. Oh, that's uh, not our favorite story yeah, about your mom. No, no, no. <laughs> D- <different>. Wait, <laughs> it might be similar. <laughs> oh, involves Sunny D. That's Sunny D. <laughs> <laughs> That, the wide mouth bottle. No. <laughs> my mom I don't came, know what that means. <laughs> my mom came out to meet my dad's family for Sunday like breakfast or brunch or whatever they were doing out of his house. And my grandmother offered her some uh, some orange juice. 
and then she poured tang into a glass. Oh. So like it's like that Wait. is not the same thing. Yeah. Do they still and make tang? They do. Yes. Probably. The thing is it uh, still as terrible as it's always been? It's the no, same I'm thing. I'm sure it's the same. It's, yeah. it's what the astronauts, it's the astronauts, drink. astronauts. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Uh, well, actually they made a bunch of it in 1969 and they were <laughs> <laughs> slowly. Wait, you're telling me they still make tang and they don't make <laughs> dunkaroos? <laughs> No, they made Tang a long time ago. <laughs> it never goes bad. <laughs> oh, uh, two weeks ago, yeah, uh, was... one of my friends referenced the movie Pootie Tang, and I was like, <gasps> "Wasn't that me?" Mean... Sada Tay. You mean <laughs> Emmy award-winning Louis C.K.? <laughs> uh, he's making a comeback. He wrote that. Is he really? Don't call it. Yeah. Comeback? Well, he can't. He can't call it a comeback, though. <laughs> wow. <laughs> no, he cannot. Wow. <laughs> oh no, a gorilla. <laughs> I love that movie. <laughs> oh, he's Chris Rock. Come mm-hmm. on. When you said when you said pretty thing, I thought booty sweat from my tropic thunder. Oh That's man. What... <laughs> now get the... him get him chugging on Alpa's ass water. <laughs> <laughs> that movie was so much better that second time that I saw it. Oh yeah, no. Yeah. Tropic it, Thunder? It yeah. only got better after consecutive views. I, oh. I saw it in theaters. I loved it from the very beginning. I did See, too. The, the, I did the, the thing is, was like, like, that was amazing. The thing I is, like, the week the before also. that, I had seen Step Brothers. So I was riding the Step Brothers oh, high. Oh my god, you know? Step Brothers. And a lot of people here don't appreciate I, Step Brothers. I can't make it through that, that movie. Catalina Wine Mixer. This is a fucking Catalina Wine Mixer. <laughs> Step it's Brothers, it, you wait, you haven't made it through the movie. No. Oh, Step Brothers and other guys, other guys. You, I can't, I don't like other guys either. The other guys. I watched the other guys because of Joel. It's, it's I watched a good because movie. of you. You're walking out. <laughs> I watched it because of you. <laughs> that's another one that gets better. Yeah, but but with Tropic Thunder, I, I saw it and I was like, yeah, that's good. And then I bought the DVD at Target when it came out because like as soon as it came out, it was marked down to nine ninety nine. Because it didn't do very well, did it? No, no. Yeah, it and I was terrible. like, I was like, oh, cool. I mean, like, no, wait, I wasn't. Oh, cool. I was like. Oh, I guess I'll get it. Because at that time, I was buying whatever, you know, at the end of the week. Like, yeah, DVDs. You were buying DVDs. Blu-rays. Yeah. It, the Blu-ray was the nine ninety. Blu-ray was nine ninety. Yeah, wow. as soon as it came out. Yeah, and like, it was on sale. Were you like, and Ben like, Stiller is so hot right now? Nah. Gonna... <laughs> and the, the thing Scorcher. was... Well, Six. Look. Here we go again. Again. I, well, he was cut like a Julianne Salad, man. All right? <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Tiger Nuts? Hey, Tiger Nuts. <laughs> And Man, I didn't break character until the commentary. And, no, that's in the commentary, awesome. it, yeah. it is Osiris Lincoln in the commentary, that's which what's is awesome. really awesome. Yeah, Who's Robert Downey Jr. Uh, the character oh. that he's he, the dude playing a dude, dude disguised as another dude. dude. No, he yeah, is the, the names. No, he, he's the other being dude played. But anyway, yeah, that was amazing. The commentary was pretty good with the ben commentary. Stiller. Was, yeah. Uh, they played character Robert Downey Jr. In yeah, yeah, he, he, he was in character. He doesn't awesome. drop yeah. character until after the DVD yeah, yeah. commentary. And then, uh, it's, how are you? Script, script reads me. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> What's that even mean? No, yeah. but uh, it's awesome. Wait, it, are we just gonna discuss Tropic Thunder no, this whole not. episode? Because I'm okay with it's, that. Or ben Stiller, I just to, Ben Stiller, yeah, Robert Downey Jr. and Jack Black do the commentary. And it's hilarious. You know, that movie was like the first time I saw uh, the guy who was Sikorsky or Sandusky. Sand- uh, Jay. Jay Baruchel. Yeah, yeah. And I didn't want him to die the whole time. <laughs> I, I did not have that same what thought. What about How to Train Your Dragon? I actually don't really well, see Yeah, him. That's okay. No, yeah. but. Uh, you come out with the third one? What? Yeah, yeah they are. Oh, man. I'm, yeah, I got to line up for that. But yeah, that movie was. Awesome the first time I saw it, and I how loved to train it. your dragon? No, <laughs> well, yeah, well, but two, uh, it was we hey, I was one and two, two was, was oh, like up. so sad, it was like up, it was two was a fucking emotional role, and then it everybody was, dies. Wait, are like, you serious? I've never seen any of those. You haven't you, seen the it? first one, is, no, is, no, is look, I was offshore with a bunch of roughnecks. <laughs> and that came on the TV, and nobody changed it. <laughs> the first one, and it it's it good. was and it was good. It's pretty good. And it was like what? I want to go get a dragon. No, I was like, but the, yeah, the, it was good. The, the second one's one, gonna be a tear down. I haven't. I don't think I've seen the second one. You haven't the, seen the second, the second one. The second one has a series of events that happens where it's just like I've, I've heard what up, happens. Damn. Yeah. Oh. And then crash really down. Really far down. Yeah. 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 Well, Isn't this a kid's movie? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. It reminds me somewhat of uh, Up, 
just because uh, the first the first 15 minutes there's of- someone at pixar disney who is just like I'm going to take the audience well, on a fucking emotional yeah. <laughs> roller coaster. I mean, and that's and, what you want to do. Because, like, Big like, Hero 6, same kind yeah. of oh, fucking yeah. thing. Oh, I love that. <laughs> yeah. I love that. <laughs> what, was Fran Tokyo? Or what, what was it? San, 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 San Fran Tokyo. Tokyo. Yeah, man. I no, but yeah. They have, they have a that, series of that's big... That's kind of the uh, same emotional like roller coaster. You go it. on and up. And you go on in How to Train Your Dragon too. Yeah, I mean, but you want, yeah, because you want to feel for the characters. You want to be though. part of the. I think you're going to need the third one. Yeah, that's DreamWorks. DreamWorks. Oh, okay. Which, which well, maybe I am that guy totally fucking against. Went over there. <laughs> I am totally against DreamWorks animation, but How to Train Your Dragon is awesome. Even though we're on a beer podcast and we're talking about how to train. It's your okay. Dragon. Roughnecks watch this movie, so we're in the clear. Hey, they did, and they did not change the channel, man. All right, let's move on to the next beer. Amber hey, Lager. Tony. Yeah. Th- <laughs> hey, Joel. How did you like the beer? So you we know, haven't talked about it. Yeah. Oh, we, sorry. We, I mean, we, we got... Yeah, thanks, balls. Joel. Thank you for including me. Hey, and then Tropic Sun... No. <laughs> you know, I wouldn't go out of my way for this. This is... I would give it a zero. I thought that yeah. aftertaste was nasty. I'm still tasting it. Yeah. Yeah. It's lingering. It, it's like... Like, on the front like end, all... it's okay, but on that back end, like, I don't want a beer that tastes like that. That's no. nothing that I would want to drink. Like common for most IPAs. And that's what... That's kind of what I... They're not all that strong. That's right? kind of what I feel. tastes metallic to me. Yeah, like huh. the clouds. Like, like an that. off flavor, basically. It kind of, That's kind of what I feel about most Alamo, though. It's like, just like your basic... It's Yeah. It, it might as well be like hey, we, Bud Light or something. One. I know. I know. I'm curious but to see yeah, what the second so one is going to taste like. So you're a zero, and Joel, how, what were your feelings? I really liked it. The first, like the first couple of sips, reminded me of like a friend came up to me like, "Hey, try this." So you like yeah. you, you try the first couple, you're like, "Oh, it's pretty good," but it's not your beer, so you just hand it back to him, uh, and so you might like it or say you like it. And then after a while, I just kind of got a little old, uh, but I, I liked it. I think the food thing is interesting because I could see drinking this with. The types of food they mentioned. Well, any food really. Um, <laughs> kind of reminds me of something I'd want to drink with something I'm eating. I yeah. I enjoyed it more than most IPAs that I've I yeah. I, yeah. I definitely because it's, it it's, it's got that malty. It's got that it's got a bready a bready yeah. like late mid palate. Yeah, you know, it's into the into the. In the feel very homey, right? Like, like that yeah. bread. <laughs> yeah, that bread feel I like do not very homey. Home. Yeah. It's, it's like <laughs> drinking rye bread almost with with a I can see that. bitter finish. Well, yeah. it's a gingerbread home, or it's made out of Dunkaroos. If I had a house out of Dunkaroos, yeah. I would fucking eat that house. It's like, <laughs> hey, it's food or shelter. Hi, hi. If you had a home, whoa, no, whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, if you were made out of dunkaroos <laughs> quit don't don't bring hot dogs hot into dogs. this <laughs> no hey um no what was i gonna say I don't I don't know. Know. bring a it's fucking like, hot dog in <laughs> it's like the theme of the night no, it's like it's like taking a bite of bread with a lemon <laughs> rind on top of it yeah if if it didn't have all that that fierce hot bitterness i would like it a lot more but then it wouldn't be an ipa it wouldn't be yeah. true it would be a totally different beer at that point it's definitely more bready than normal ipas uh, it's not as hoppy as I th- would think like if I were drinking an IPA normally. So that's, I guess that's why I kind of liked it. So the aroma, yeah. We're going yeah, to nice. talk about the brewery a little bit or. We can. Mm, we nah. can talk about this beer a little or bit Or we more. can talk about more Tropic Thunder, more How to Tra- Train Your Dragon. Mm. Let's talk about movies, guys. Oh, that that is nice. Yeah. I, I got like a that. nice banana smell on that. Yeah. yeah. I got there, the banana. Is, yeah, yeah. Banana smell. I got clove? the banana. No clove. No clove. No, no clove. bananas. No clove and bananas. They get a lot of. That is straight banana, though. But yeah. This is. This is nice. This is a nice. Uh, it is nice. I, I, I like, like this beer. Okay, so this is the Vienna style. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, and it's it's got that. There, I think there's a whole lot of Vienna malt in there. Obviously, this might be a weird question. Do you feel like there's some consistency between the beers in the sense of like, if you had to pick out from the lineup, you'd be like, these are Alamo beers. Kind of like how uh, Circles that way. I feel like there's a lot of Circle beers. You're like, oh, this is definitely Circle. Maybe. I mean, I. The the malts, it's kind of like they use the same malts for their IPA. Yeah. Except they just Brandy. added different hops. Yeah. yeah. Maybe. Maybe okay. they did. No hops. <laughs> I mean, like really well, this would have like German hops, which are a, a bit more subdued. But yeah, this is, I mean, no, it's not as good as Big Bark, I think. No, I don't no. think so. Mm-mm. Big but, Bark was delicious. I mean, it is it is pretty good. It, it does have the caramel. 
Yeah, 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 it does. I think with the caramel and the or banana, is that caramel? this would be really caramel. good over ice cream. I disagree cream, no. because I don't you like don't beer like and ice cream. You don't like any beer over Apparently, ice cream. Apparently, I do not like beer and ice I cream. I had thought we were going to do Guinness over the ice cream. That's not Texas. That's not oh, Texas. I know it's not Texas, but just beer over ice cream. Yeah, we, maybe yeah something we heavy and a stout. But yeah, I did not. But, well, probably yeah, the... Independence Convict Hill would probably be good. That sounds good. Yeah. I don't know that style. I... Oh my God, banana. Sorry. I just want to jump in on that conversation late. Were you drinking or did you just feel a banana? <laughs> uh, so what, what did we discuss on this beer? Because this is, this is pretty good. So I'll read, read a little blurb about it. The, uh, the the Alamo Amber Lager is a rich Vienna, which actually it's not the... Oh, is it? It is the Amber Lager. Who brought, okay. who brought the big bark to the, the first season wrap I did. And so did Tony. Did yeah. you? Yeah. Mm-hmm. That was Better, my favorite. Wait, Compared to no, it's not not even yeah, not comparable. It's, it's not. No, I, I'd say the big bark is a lot better. <laughs> this is this is good though. It's bready. Yeah. See, uh, the amber lager is a rich Vienna style lager with notes of toasted malt sweetness. Pours a deep red color. Mm-hmm. I don't want to say that that deep. It's accentuated with notes of caramel, <laughs> it's not caramel <laughs> that finish crisp and dry on the palate. I mean, it's not. <laughs> Not that deep. it pairs well with Mexican food <laughs> or perfectly brock, bratwurst deep. or <laughs> Mexican sauerkraut. food with uh, amber. I don't know if I'd do that. Yeah, I no. I mean, amber, I mean, yeah. there's the the Mexican lagers like the and Modelo or like no. Well, isn't the well, Mede- yeah, is the Mede- Negro, Negro is yeah. that's a Vienna lager. Yeah, yeah. and uh, what what a uh, Oscar Blues burrito. Yeah, burrito. It's almost like a Ross. step above like a brown. Brown Whoa. ale. Right? Whoa, hey. <laughs> Don't talk like, about Tony that way. Yeah, well, br- brown ales are usually kind of light. Well, a lot lighter than a lot of taste. I don't think but I've had a brown tastes. ale that I liked, really. Yeah. This, Sam, this is what Sam I, Smith. I mean, this is what I want. Much oh, man. Sam Adams, I, I love mean. his voice. You mean um, Sam Adams? No, Sam Smith. Hold on. Samuel Ross. Smith from England. The know? brewery. Samuel Smith. Some Sam Smith. He was sued by Tom Petty over this. This is, true. This is what I was thinking of. Nut brown ale. <laughs> I've heard that. This yeah, is... I've heard that before. Samuel Smith. That's pretty good. I think I've heard people talk about the nut brown ale. There was the first oatmeal stout that I ever had. I have not had a bad beer from them. They make a cider, too. It's supposed to be pretty Some good. Some would say you've never had a bad beer before. <laughs> that I is have. not true. Yeah. Please don't. Do we talk uh, enough about uh, Alamo? Do we bring him up enough? Yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah, probably. Yeah. All right. So <laughs> now we have, what do we got? Blue Collar Blonde by Rusty Rail. Rusty Rail is a brewery out of Pennsylvania. We're about some Pennsylvania. Yeah, we're I at. I don't know. Um, okay. All right. That was yours. <laughs> it's uh, Mifflinburg. Oh, Mifflinburg. Oh, oh Mifflinburg. Mifflinburg. Good old Mithlinburg. I thought it said yeah. Milfenburg. But Where the it, fuck is Mithlinburg? I don't know. And we, Tony? It's not Pittsburgh. You're a Steelers fan. You should know everything about Pennsylvania. It's a myth. I, I will say right off the bat, though, it's, I love the uh, the art on the label. Yeah. I'm not a fan of the label, though. It's too glossy for me. I don't know. Very MS paint. Sort of. Look at Joel going ham. Hard pour. Ham on that hard pour. Ham in it. What? Hard pour ham. 4.6 alcohol by volume. 12 fluid ounces or 355 milliliters for our British listeners. Oh, my. So what was our strongest beer tonight? This? I don't know. No, No, probably the the IPA. IPA IPA is like 5. So Mifflinburg, why do they have that? 5.5. Mifflinburg, why do they have that at the office? That just sounds right. They don't. So wait, this is from Round Rock? Mifflin. That was the name of the. Yeah, Dunder Mifflin. Rusty Rail. I know. Hey, Cutter. You know what else it says on the label? Fuck you. Yeah. There it is. Oh. I've been waiting for one all night. It's the first one. Just waiting to get fucked. Uh, yeah, I didn't get one in last uh Why do you episode. sound so quiet? Why do you say- Who sounds quiet? You do. Do you I sound, sound quiet? subdued? Oh, I don't know. You're not yelling into your mic. Be aggressive. Be aggressive. There you go. Sorry. All right. Was that in is that uh, better? better? Maybe I was talking too high. Bring it on. Bring it on. It's already been brought was it? <laughs> Never mind. So... <laughs> So this blonde it's definitely is a real a, bitch. It's definitely a blonde. I wouldn't say there's anything really special about it though. Blonde ale? Is that like what a it lot is? of blondes, right? Yeah. It's not a it's not a boom roasted. It's not a blonde lager. It's almost got a little more citrus on the front, but not Maybe. much. This beer is really good. It's not it's not bad. As far as blonde ales are good concerned. Job, Tony. 
As yeah, far, good job, Tony. It's not bad. It's, just, it's good. Yeah. As far as blonde ales are concerned. It's not my favorite blonde. This is pretty high up on my blonde list, actually. Long Gone Blonde? I don't know if I've had that. That would be my... That's a Doubt, Deep that's, Ellum, right? No, that's a no. Whitestone. Whitestone. Oh. I, the Deep Ellum Blonde is really good, that? too. I like that one. I, at, Some of us did. I don't, I don't know, know if, if I did. did. It's in cans, so... Okay, it I can try really it, but good. It's a, uh, this is, it's I a think really this good is blonde. really good. I like this the, is a really good beer. Yeah, I like the kind of citrusy sweetness that it has in there. Some blondes are just kind of bland. Yeah. You know? Yeah, and I'd like say they like, just want the fast as, life. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no personality. They think, they think they're just going to get by just because say. they're a blonde, you know? No, like, no, I'm, no, this so one has some off. character. You know? No depth. I, was like, no I depth. kind of wish yeah. mine had a fuller body, but... <laughs> Of course you of do. Of course. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, this beer is no Rebel. But no, uh, yeah, I think it's smooth. Rebel it's Wilson, got, call me. Um, I have business cards now. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody in the UK is downloading. I don't know. Anyway, but yeah, uh, you, so this is a one. Yeah, this is a one. Yeah. For sure. Okay. Joel? Joel. Man, this beer club is awesome. So I like the two from Alamo, um, and I'm really Which you can buy there. in the store. Yeah, and I really like this one as well. Um, it's a little bit different from the blondes I've had before. Yeah. Normally, I don't even... It's more citrusy. Yeah. I, I agree. Really? Yeah. Yeah, that's the notes mm. I'm getting to. So, why do we think this is called Rusty? Because nothing about no. this says Rust well, to me. The brewery, no, the brewery is Rusty Rail. So mm. Rusty Rail. Mm. Yeah. Buy a Rusty Rail. Which is not going to make me want to buy a, a, a beer from there. A Rusty... But, but Joel... You know, a rusty, rusty Rail. Oh, Rusty Tone Bone. <laughs> Well, she's over here Trumbo, with like the uh, Rosie the Riveter vibe. She's yeah. a little bit more vampy. They kind of dumbed down, maybe. Yeah, the Rosie Which the Riveter. I think like it's that. a little offensive. Yeah, for, I think it's yeah. a little kind of two eh. blondes in general. How's it offensive? Because she, she just looks. It, yeah, it's like, more. Oh, what also, am I drinking? Well, or yeah. more, if you want to say it's more she's sexualized instead yeah. of like. Also, a if you woman. read what it says on the the bottle, is that offensive? Yeah, a little bit. I'll go ahead. I mean, what? What the, would you expect from her name's Rusty? Is what Pennsylvania? It says on the shirt. Pennsylvanians. Her, you know? her shirt says Rusty. Look at the quarterback <laughs> of the Pittsburgh Steelers. I mean, that tells you everything you need to know about Pennsylvanians. Eagles. Come on, man. Go Eagles. All about those Eagles. <laughs> yeah, who we totally declared to win that Super Bowl. <laughs> oh yeah, of course. But Joel, yeah. Joel, you were saying uh, before Clint interrupted you. Wait. So is it a one or it's a yeah, one? Yeah, it's right? a one. I like it a lot. Yeah. And I, I don't see the sexism. I mean, I guess if you really want to look at maybe, it, maybe if if Tony reads what what's on the the bottle. Oh yeah, but oh, wait, wait. Clint, let me read this one the line. Pop your top thing. I mean, I guess no. you don't read too much into it. Well, yeah. Enjoy the only blonde that will never turn you down. Yeah. Oh, okay. So it is a sexual. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of a. Uh... Well, like pictures Rebel Wilson going. I mean, oh. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no, Cutter. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> What are you doing with that hot dog? Oh, she wants to know. <laughs> you know uh, what I'm saying. But I guess I guess most blondes are like that because oh. mm. blonde most ales. blonde, yes, most blonde <laughs> ales are like that. So most blondes are like Rebel Wilson. There's only one Rebel Wilson. Oh, in Cutter's eyes. <laughs> He's trying to sneak uh, subliminal messages. Call me. Call me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It wasn't, it wasn't so subliminal. <laughs> it was pretty uh, subliminal. No. Wink. <laughs> so, Tony, what, what is your feeling? I He loves that pizza. I love the pizza and I love the beer. Yeah. I would say Here's well. this is, I would actually choose this beer. Not that it would be anywhere, you know, locally. We'll all have to go to a Steelers game and ask for it. <sighs> if they have Probably. it. It's three hours away from Pittsburgh. I would I would go That's not I so would far. go We're tired hands if I were in Pennsylvania. It's not a big state. Why is it three hours? Are you sure you wouldn't go for like a rolling rock or something like that? Nah. Maybe a Sam Adams. Sam Adams does a lot of different beers. I don't know. Sam Boston fan. Lager? Yeah. In Pennsylvania? But no. Sacrilege. I would go for tired hands. Oh wait, do they are they do they brew out of uh Boston? Hello? Okay. Oh, that makes sense. Boston. Boston. Samuel Boston, Boston, Boston yeah. Texas. Yeah. Yeah, but no, this I I really do. I oh sorry, cut or go. Oh, yes. I, was, I was gonna say no. I I no no go. Oh, definitely definitely one. No yeah. no 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 go. go. Oh <laughs> no. fuck okay. you, cutter. Anyway, okay. <laughs> yeah okay. Really, 
Would you never turn this down? Now. Please. Is this, now. A, is this a blonde you'd never turn down? Yeah, this is a blonde I would not turn down. Okay, thank you. All right. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I guess it's a one for me as well. Though, if I had a choice, you know, I'd white stone and then uh, the deep Ellen blonde even before this. Oh deep Ellen blonde is pretty good. So. Yeah. To be and, a deep uh, What's the deal no, about? It's a Dallas beer. Okay. We we. I think you've had it before. Uh, you, I'm sure you've had it. it. It's it's pretty popular. I see it everywhere. Very distinctive can. Yeah, yellow and pink, and it's got a. Oh, that's like the one a, we had at the Tonga. Is that the Dallas blonde? Right, that that yeah. pink punkish. Oh yeah, yeah. This yeah. Is, we might have okay. had it there. So, yeah. but there's a girl with like her makeup. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. This is far superior to the Dallas blonde. I You're would, only saying that because it's from Dallas. I would not say that. No, no. I, I typically wouldn't say that about some beer that's not from Texas, but yes, Clint, this is. Would you agree than, this is better than Shiner Blonde? Oh man, I, it's been a long time since I've had a yeah, Shiner it's Blonde. Been a, it's been Shiner a Blondes are watered down compared mm, to this. Agree, My, agree. A lot of Shiner, yeah, sort of is. yeah. This is probably a little bit. But better. what about a mango? <laughs> that you're you're not. Kolsch. Ooh, no, mango Kolsch is far superior to this. <laughs> That mango kosher was what about good. Peach what wheat? mango kosher? Uh, Shiner. Shiner's in mango their heat kosher. wave pack. Oh man, I haven't had that. Mango kosher by Shiner, delicious. It is pretty good. I don't know. Is that all right now? Uh, and no, yeah, I don't it, think it, you it, can it, find it anymore. I don't. It might be able to. I have some. The mango kosher no, no. is really nice because it, it's like you can you get like the texture, you get like the skin, like the fiber of the mango. Even though it's not in there, but you can kind of like. Would you say it's tannic? taste it? No, no, Titanic. I wouldn't say Would that at all. It's not grippy. Mm-mm. Grippy? Mm, no. On the tongue? No. Nope. Maybe, you said maybe skin. a little bit. Dude, you said skin. So I like, it's, well, it's, the, it's, the outside of the mango, you you kind of get that flavor, that oh, feeling okay. of it. But yeah, but you don't eat the outside of the mango. No, but you. You only so, eat outside the banana. That's would all you, you say eat. it's almost like it's not there? <laughs> yeah. No. It is uh, not so there. The, the Shiner Mango Kolsch, it's very light, very yeah. refreshing. And then it has that just hint of mango on the palate that just is like, mwah. But it, it's like, it's like. It's like you're eating like, a mango like without a th- eating a yeah, mango. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. It has I, the I, I wanted, flavor. I kind of like, want to say 3D, but that doesn't... Juicy? Yeah. So like, you're not making all the mess? And yeah, yeah. It's, so, it feels so much like, better. Like yeah. the, the full flavor profile of the mango somehow exactly. comes out in the beer. And it's really nice. Yeah, it just, goes like, really like well. Like the nooks and crannies, which I mean, that, that might not make sense, but like... I'll nook your cranny. <laughs> oh, I don't. I don't want to know what that means. And then um, Clint wants to nook Ross's cranny. <laughs> I don't want to know what that means. <laughs> yeah. And then um, the peach wheat is also very delicious. Yeah. So Full p- peach notes again. These are all they shiner? did. They did a good job. Yeah. Shiner. Yeah. Heat wave, heat pack. wave pack. Heat wave pack. Uh, and then in that pack is also the mm. um, prickly yeah, pear. Yeah, which, which I isn't that I didn't really great. care for the prickly pear. You don't care for the prickly no. pear? No. And I kind of wanted to add prickly pear to one of our home brews, but... Like the actual prickly pear? Mm-hmm. Like the... Yeah. Really? Yeah. Some good like, prickly pear. Because pear. I've had uh, Independence, they have a beer with prickly pear in it. It's, it tastes really good. But they also have uh, pomegranate and something else in there. Wait, that was... El Nopal. The... I really love Shiner's. Oh yeah, you pear. had that at the yeah. top, right? And it was it was amazing. Yeah, you what can you, stop talking about that. that was Cutter, cool. what do you think of Shiner's prickly pear beer? I personally haven't had it. What? Are oh. you sure? It's okay. I, I wouldn't say it's I feel like you've had I've, it. Oh, I love that beer. I'm not big on prickly pear in general. It's Ted Ted sweet for me. Yeah, it's a Ted sweet. I like sweet it like beer. shaved, like I think that's really... the point of it though. Yeah, but it's like I'm I'm not big on Man. the prickle pear flavor, but yeah, so it hasn't really pick up pick up the Shiner Heat Wave pack if you see it, give it a shot. What what do we need to know about uh, Rusty Rail Brewing? It's Rusty from Pennsylvania. It's rusty. I like the beer. I would try more of their beers based on the taste of that. So well, have you try tried that? Just in you're about to try another one. Yeah. So yeah. I've been pretty excited to try. Oh, no, does that say peanut butter? Fool's so, Gold is a peanut butter heft. Uh, <laughs> Wait, what do you what do you say uh, about peanut butter and banana? To- it's peanut butter and bananas, well, it was man. It's a peanut butter porter that we that had. That sounds first time. great. Yeah. But we've also had how many other beers right now? You didn't have the peanut that butter smells- last time. Ooh, no. 
That smells too strong. It's a tad nutty. Mm. It's a bit nutty. It's a bit nutty. Oh, what kind of beer? You said a half. Hey, one? speaking of half nuts, half guys. Yeah. So <laughs> no, it, it, I would I would say the the, ban- call the, the bananas in the half are so basically too light. I, I for me. I believe that the this peanut is... butter is nice. <laughs> peanut. Yeah, you really get that peanut butter on the on the. You real, get nuts aroma. right in your face there. It so, smells like fresh nuts. I like it. <laughs> it does. So, I wouldn't say it's no, as good as the okay. wild ride. No, no. Here's what I'm thinking. Well, that's a porter. This is like a peanut okay, butter and banana sandwich. But I'm just saying. I thought it was going to be dark. Yeah, that's what I was I was, thinking. The wheat, I was expecting. Yeah. You have the wheat, you but have the banana, is, uh, you have the, the peanut butter. I'm really worried about There's that. No yeah, I, I, think, I think you get, you might get too much of the clove. The no, the On the nose, it's it smells like oh peanut God. butter and banana. Yeah, to it me. does. I yeah, feel like I'm in a peanut factory. Oh yeah, a, I'm with Joel. Ooh, I feel yeah. like even the smell of it is it, like it, it's really strong. No, I this know. this is superior to the Nut Crusher. Oh is man, I don't really? I don't believe that. Yeah, but I don't believe that either. I I don't think it's bad. I didn't like, I like the Nut it. Crusher. I know. Yeah. Well, you would. I prefer the Nut Crusher. It really crushed my nuts. I would not but, like uh, I it my nuts, nuts crush. <laughs> Thank you very much. Have wow. you tried this? I I like the Nut the, Crusher. Yes, I tried the Nut Crusher from uh, Wild Ride. Wild Ride. I really like the smell of this one. I did not. But the taste is not as good. So speaking of nuts, very, very soon in but the near future. Bad. Yeah. Pecans? Pecans. Every <laughs> time we... you see me, Pecan Tony is going to be peddling, are, are we peddling make, his wares. Are we going to try to make a pecan beer? <laughs> no. Wait. Cutter, have you tried this beer yet? I have not yet. No, I've smelled it. <laughs> Smell that beer before you drink it. Can you smell the beer? <laughs> it's like a Hefeweizen that's been delivered in a full peanut. Interesting taste. I like it. Yeah. It's not one of those that I could probably do three beers of. Of course you do. No, you couldn't do three beers. I couldn't do three beers. <laughs> but what do you what do you think? I don't All right, compare could this. you compare it to the Wild Ride? Nut Crusher Porter. I know I you you probably it's, don't like no. comparing it because it's two different beers. No, but it's it's really hard to compare them because just wait, what would you rather drink? What's it called? I'd uh, rather drink the porter, but that's that's oh, yeah. every day. But you got more. I like I, here. I, I oh, like the smell you, of this. Right you guys like to have it right there. Oh, we found one that Clint likes. Welcome to the party. <laughs> just keep giggling. Clint just entered the game. I, what are you talking I, about? I like the you IPA. like the IPA. <laughs> No, no way. The blonde. Like, you like I the like IPA the... bullshit. You like the IPA. No, I like. I like. <laughs> it <was a> joke. <laughs> Whoa, Joel, keeping him honest. I liked. I didn't say I did. No, These no. two fucks <laughs> said I did. No, I like the blonde and I like the amber lager. Those are both good beers. And this the amber was pretty good. This is exactly what I kind of expected it to taste like. So. Does it taste more like like peanut like the like if you had a bag of peanuts as opposed to peanut butter? Mm. Like peanut butter tastes. No, I think the wild ride tasted more like to to me like peanuts. To me, this tastes like this uh, tastes more like peanut butter. Like you're eating a banana and then you popped like Uh, a a few peanuts in your mouth at the same time. Yeah, no, I agree with that cutter. That's right. I'm I'm getting like too much of the clove. I think it's there. No, there is some clove there. It's there when you drink it. Yeah, there's some clove for sure. But for me, you get a touch of it on the nose. You get, uh, man, Clint and I are totally different. You get, oh my, to me, it's like a peanut butter sandwich with something sweet. And the banana isn't overpowering, mm-hmm. but it's kind of there. And that's, I think, where you get that sweetness. I think I'm where you're at. Like, it's a ground banana, like in the sandwich, where you get a little bit almost like earthiness. Ground your banana. <laughs> Well, just just not with the peel. You don't want to do it. The well, whole you're peel mashing all. up. You're mashing up the banana and the you're, peanuts. You're just together. mashing it with your hand. <laughs> hey, well, some people mash their own bananas, and some people use two hands. <laughs> no, but it's so the one thing that's weird is as I drink it, I feel like I get a lot more banana on the nose. Yeah, um, really. But then, like, see, I think the opposite. The nose is peanut butter. Peanut boom, butter, yeah, hitting you in the face. No. Like I get that peanut right butter, here, I mean mostly peanut right here, butter. yes. But as I'm drinking, I feel like I get the banana. So you get the banana in the back of your throat. No, on the nose as I'm drinking. No, <laughs> you don't. It's the peanut on your nose. So what? What Craft Beer Club says about it? It's brewed with pilsen and red wheat malt and Jarilo hops. Did Ja Rule make those? That's what I was thinking. Where's Ja? ja. Where's Ja right now? <laughs> The Rusty Rails Fooled Scold is an Imperial Peanut Butter Hefeweizen. The Imperial might be oh, uh, it might be the 
this thing I don't like. Did Hef, anybody else look at the ABV like, on this shit? <laughs> it tastes just like uh, you hope wait, it wait, would. Wait, wait, Six point five. Eight. Eight. Oh, oh would have yeah. never guessed that. All right, it tastes like you hope it would with a subtle peanut That's... butter aroma and sweet banana and peanut flavors balanced by a touch of spicy clove. Yep. That's where it loses me. The beer is hazy golden color, unfiltered. Well, of course, Hefeweizens are unfiltered. I don't think you can taste the alcohol at all. With a slightly creamy, very smooth texture and finish. I disagree. I taste the alcohol. As I was I drinking, don't. I'm sitting here sipping it, and I was like... How fucking strong is this beer? No, now, I feel it. I don't taste the alcohol. <laughs> Maybe that's what it was. Now, I felt it, circle. and I was like, wait, there is something wrong. How strong is this beer? Now, and you're drinking a lot more than the rest of us are. But now, <laughs> if Circle did a doppel... He's like, and I'm going to keep drinking it. Is did that- a peanut butter doppel blur... I would want that. They did oh, it? Or from you... Circle? I would want anything from Circle. Wait, oh, yeah. Uh, there's a, you're saying if they, yeah, if if only they, we could if go they there. Did it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, if, if only we could be there tomorrow. <laughs> there's a there's a Ling Ring that I don't appreciate on this beer, but overall. But everything lingers. You linger. Is it the no. cranberries? No, it's like. Did you have to let it linger? Deadly like, Merchant. It's like probably. I have peanut butter breath or something like that. So if you were kissing somebody and so, they had yeah, just they, eaten a peanut butter sandwich? They wouldn't mind. Wink. But anybody so if you else had would. some nuts in your mouth yeah. and you're like, yeah. would this uh, make and then them you kiss somebody? <laughs> I kiss somebody with nuts in my mouth. No, no. You had the nuts in your mouth and then you kiss <laughs> it them. It doesn't matter. No, no. That's not what I'm saying at all. Ross is... Throwing his fucking conjecture around. Conjecture? <laughs> yeah. Is he accusing you of something? Yes. Of having nuts Objection. in my mouth. <laughs> overruled. Sustained. Oh, overruled. Damn. No. You don't know bird law. But no, it, it feels like... I second that motion. So I don't think it's the clove. I think it's the alcohol taste that, yes. that I'm getting that, that is putting me off. It is. This is blowing yeah. my mind. You guys have told like... Clint's it been is very consistent on taste on his palate, but I mean, totally I, different. I really love the smell. If I could smell it all the time, yeah, it's I, like, think, I think and I don't really even like peanut butter, but I it just smells if good. It wasn't as strong alcohol content wise, but it then would be you a wouldn't really get the peanut. It, yeah, you, no, no, the banana flavors. The banana, you what was the percent again? Eight. 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 Ooh, yeah. That's Which I bad. think Doppelblur is even like because it's an Imperial Half as well. But and I that's think a strong they, banana. I think they. <laughs> Thanks. Thick full, full, but I, I think that's, that's what thick. I, I think that's, that's what they do banana. better. Robin Thick, right? That's a guy's name, right? That is a that guy's is name. a guy. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to talk about any of the ladies in the video. <laughs> I mean, not there's anything I mean, wrong with that, Joel. But well, they you want to talk about of... blurred lines? Did you? Um, <laughs> nice. Yeah. You said it. No, like that. Oh, no, no, <laughs> the no. first time I saw that video, I thought I was watching porn. I was like. I was in a bar and it was on, on a lines. TV. Yeah. Okay. And I was like, wow, they're really showing you know, this. The, in the an, first in time I saw it, I was like, this is actually a song? Mm-hmm. It's like, Tony's What's like, the first time nothing? I saw it it's in like public, I was in a bar. <laughs> I was literally downtown on 6th Street. The but fir- the first time uh, I saw it, I was in Street. bed like with my wife at house. <laughs> the first, you? Like, and then you, you turn and oh, you're like... You. I wasn't I was, married. That was, was a long time ago. I was ago, making dude. fun of you. That was a horrible joke. The, I know. The first time I... Hey, hey, I was Cutter. working offshore at that Cutter. point. Welcome to my life, Tony. <laughs> Cutter. You're Great stupid. wall of vagina. Great Changed wall of China. I said but China stupid. the wrestler. Oh, she's Great dead. Oh. Did she die? Yeah, she did die. Too soon. Overdosed. Did she yeah. really? Yeah, like yeah. two years, two, three years oh, ago. Oh, I didn't realize that. Yeah, yeah. a lot's happened in the last few years. It's like 2014 or something, maybe yeah. even? Did the one Disney 15. girl die this week, or did she just have an overdose? Demi Lovato? No. Yeah. She's she's good. She doesn't see any problem with it. Uh, like <laughs> Amy Winehouse didn't see a problem? But, but the thing is, I was talking to somebody about it, and it's like, she's been an advocate for, you know, drug addiction or whatever. And it's like, the thing an is- advocate for addiction? For addiction? Against. Against addiction. Well, yeah, but an advocate. <laughs> so the thing is, when you're- an addict, you're like an addict for your entire life. Just like when you're an alcoholic, you're an alcoholic your entire life. Is that true? It's oh, like it just yes, takes a little bit, just, a little, just yeah. a little, just a little bit to slip back in there. So you have to like be vigilant, and you even when you know 
that's just why put they the have alcoholic. You, know, you know, you just got to put the full thing in yeah, there. Don't, like, don't just slip back in there. They, they, get the full thing. <laughs> don't talk even, about your hot dogs like, right now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sorry. Like, that's right. Are you addicted to hot dogs? <laughs> you <laughs> can tell us. So it's I like, you know, vodka. you know, even He's when... He's uh, addicted. The yeah. <laughs> Clint is addicted. Addicted. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah. Decoction. Anyway, so <laughs> no, no, I'm fully like, cautioned. <laughs> even, but well, I think what Ross is saying is you could have that one drink but, and it pops you back into what you were. Yes, yeah, exactly. If any of you have watched Flaked, uh, Joel, all two seasons. Where's the third season, guys? Where's the? It should have come out like two months ago. Mitchell Hurwitz is, is, is <laughs> so I was busy his making shirt. It's ironing hey. his shirt. Hey, yeah, um, busy making Arrested Development. Surprise! How does this all tie? Also, into- spending a lot more money. Where, where are we tying this into Demi Lovato? And then Demi Lovato comes in on a segue. Okay. Be, <laughs> what do you no, think I'm going to stop I, for the because, for the pop singer no, wearing it, a three thousand dollar outfit? Come on, <laughs> come on. So what? Um, she, she 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 went to no, rehab and because she's an addict. They, or, wait, they I'm tried to saying, make her go to rehab and she said, said no, 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 no. Yeah, no. But they, she's, I love that no, we're she, joking she, about somebody overdosing. Clint. She, Yes. About uh, a, from a dead person's song. We don't know her. Who overdosed? Uh, you don't know her. I'm sorry. She made a song saying they know. tried to make me go to rehab and I said no, no, no. But Timmy Lovato didn't make it. Oh, no. I, I thought that was the, uh, what's her name? But she's not <laughs> actually. Amy Winehouse. I thought I'm was, not yeah. dead yet. Yeah. Yeah. Was... Yeah. She's not dead yet. Sorry. She died? Wait. Sorry, Clint's been in a she did. Car. Sorry, who put Clint in a, too? <laughs> we put Clint in a time capsule ten years ago. He hasn't lived the last ten years. So he some Dunkaroos. And, and, so. yeah. He just had like three packs of Dunkaroos. Like. <laughs> oh, <come> on, <laughs> oh, but you know, Dunkaroos would go really well with this beer. Bring it back. <laughs> all right, guys. So we've just disenfranchised all of our viewers. <laughs> Some well, of them were I Demi the, Lovato I think fans. The real Some fans of them were Dunkaroo just... fans. So our real wait, fans. <laughs> wait, the Dunkaroo fans are still there. I don't know why we. Our Dunkaroo fans are like, yes, where the More fuck Dunkaroos. are the Dunkaroos? <laughs> Bring the real issues. <laughs> like, let's talk about what really matters. Dunkaroos the lack for Congress. Of, the 2020. lack of Dunkaroos. <laughs> Take a break. <laughs> Take a break, Clint. Talk amongst yourselves. I'll give you the topic. I'll give, I'll give a Clint. Oh. I think that's our goal to make Clint la- like la- laugh and cry every like three or four podcasts. If Cutter could cry, he'd be crying right now. Oh. As hard as he was laughing. Are you no saying soul. Cutter is an unfeeling no, I have no soul. ginger? Are you a ginger? I have no Cutter? soul. He's, yeah. He's, he's got a red beard. Yeah, I mean. Look at this. Red beard, beard is ginger. Yeah, ginger, you have no soul. Daywalker. What are you reading? Are you reading uh, The Shining thing? over there? No, I was, I was reading uh, about, Class? about Rusty Rail. Yeah, about uh, Rusty Rail. Rusty Rails. They well, were founded in 2015, so they're relatively new brewery. Oh, that's really new. The that, town that's of not that new. Mifflinburg. Mif- I think it's new, newish for Mithril. like East Coast, but yeah, it's okay. like it's like Thanks. average All Austin right. new. Rusty Rail Brewing Company is a labor of love for brothers Paul and Eric John. They have completely renovated and repurposed an enormous space, thirty-seven thousand five hundred square foot. Wow, that was once a, a historical feet. industrial center and turned it into a modern day state of the art brew pub. That's it's only, not as many yards, though. Oh, so what, what ah, license do they have for that? It's like a third uh, of that. It's a it? Pennsylvania license. It doesn't apply to Texas. No, no yeah, Pennsylvania. They, they have P- PABC. In, in its short lifespan, the brewery has already become a destination in central Pennsylvania, offering an incredible brew pub experience unlike any other nearby. It pays yeah, homage to the railroad line that once ran through the town and provided a key part of the valley's yeah. transportation network. Oh, you mean it wasn't like I a mean, hobo were... <laughs> that rode the rails and just no. gave... That's Rusty Lauren hand Hobo. Oh, <laughs> rusty <laughs> hand job. That, <laughs> wait, wait. What, what is the, a rusty venture anyway? <laughs> it's a lesser known sibling to the rusty trambo. <laughs> the old rusty hand job. <laughs> yeah. He didn't even try to hide it. I'm not even an instrument. They like to be called homeless capable. Wait, home the cable? idea of rusty, uh, rusty Rail Brewing started in 2009. Home incapable. Yeah. They purchased the expansive Mifflinburg property and opened a family business, Legacy Crafted Cabinets, in the South Building. 
Brothers were also the owners of the successful Rinse and Craft Brothers of Terrible. Like, what's this? Yeah, I didn't write it. I yeah, like that I their families even like, how do you afford a brewery in Mifflin? <laughs> so brothers bought it, Wait, made cabinets, there? said literally they went, visited a whole bunch of uh, microbreweries and were like, hey, we could do this. And yeah. then they did that. That's hey, cool. we should That's do that. There is so, so much that. open warehouse space in Pennsylvania. It, like they got well, hit that, that so makes sense. hard. Yeah, because, I mean, everything was industrial like, based by and then. They you you and move history? the industry into wait, like wait. other countries. The industry, yeah, exactly. Or the industry, or no, the, the out industry. Dust. No, this is East Coast, so mm-hmm. it's it's know. awfully dusty up there. In Dunkaroos, <laughs> yeah, the industry, industry. Okay. Anyway, this is fool's yeah, gold. Yeah, exactly. What were we talking? This about? is fool's gold. I don't know. Well, and I it's eight percent it strong. It's good. And it's good. It's over the top. It's good. I like it. It's not. I give it a, a one. I give it a one. It's a one. It's yeah. a one. Yeah. It's a uh, one for one. I'd go with the wild ride the instead, one but yeah. I, I like I that idea. Yeah, wild it's ride. a one for it's one. If you had more than one of this, it'd be mm-hmm. way too many. No. I can't it's kind of like the Einhorn we had earlier tonight. Ooh. We had it? three of those, though. Yeah, we did I have had three, three of those. those. I so, could have three of those again. I could, I could do this about once a year. Like, yeah. I can see here. You know how I have dinner and some you keep banging your glass on? I'm not. Somebody is. We're not oh, moving. It's me. So. Wow. <laughs> you dumbass. You know how you'll have dinner and sometimes people are like, you want dessert? And you deny them. You're like, no dessert. And they're like, no, you want when, coffee? No. When do you say, no, what? Deny. Yes. Yeah, we, we slap their hand down. We're like, get that out of here. And then. Uh, I never say get that Get that cake anyone. out of my face. What? <laughs> slap. Happy birthday to the ground. <laughs> Happy birthday to the ground. <laughs> here's here's no, a piece son, of. I don't blow out candles. Here's a here's a that's pizza. That's not my dad. That's a phone. <laughs> here's a piece of carrot cake. <laughs> Fuck your carrot cake. Ouch. Sorry, uh, Joel. Go ahead. Get references to you, apparently. Who but gets I, references? Channeling some Daniel. I feel like this is what I would want Daniel after Brown. I've had a full meal, and they're like, "Do you want dessert? No. A dessert beer. Do you want coffee? No. How about this peanut butter beer?" Let's do this. Wait, oh, wait, wait, wait. So they would break you down by that? <laughs> yeah, I can see that. I yeah. can see that. You're Why saying are they, they just trying asked you so three hard? times and you're like, I've okay, I'll buy it. And it's like yeah. they just need to offer you three different things. Yeah. I feel like they, oh. No, no, powers? yes. What are you asking? Yeah, powers? yeah. I mean, oh, damn it. Three times. I'll do anything you guys want if you say my name three times. <laughs> I mean, if I knew what it was like to tr- eat and hang out with friends and drink beer. Oh, oh, I, oh, I wish oh. I knew what that was like. <laughs> too. Oh. Where's the violin? It, it's right there. You can't hear it? Oh, I hear yeah. it now. Oh, okay. He's edited, edited it <laughs> <Russell>. in. <laughs> oh, that's violin. a car bag. Oh, that's a remix. I was going to say violin <laughs> into Skrillex. <laughs> Butter, not, 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 not. <laughs> no, no, no. That's violin into... Avicii. Peanut butter imperial. Oh, right. I feel like you're doing the soon. Batman theme. What about X? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Anyway, hey, uh, we, we've done uh, the craft beer pack oh, for my gosh. We did yeah. that. Okay, craft beer pack. Rusty Rail, because I know you're listening. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta take this down from eight percent. That's way too no, much. No, it's an imperial half. You can't really it's take it. I enjoyed it. Imperial. Make it not enjoyed an it. imperial half. You're saying no, you would like this if it wasn't as strong. Uh yeah, what I think I would what like. Would you yeah, take? I would six? prefer that. Six might be good. The thing is, it's, it's, the alcohol flavor That's fine. is That's what it says is really it is. putting me off. It Clint. says peanut butter hef. It doesn't say imperial anywhere on hey. here. It does on the yeah. side. In the fine print. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that print is fine. Clint's that is not, e- girl, that is not even is the fine. finest print where it says imperial. <laughs> well, let's give Clint credit. It's He's bigger than the fine uh, print. I just. He's Wait, used to no, mailing sixes. So. No, it's not. <laughs> right there. Yikes. This right here <laughs> yeah, is not. smaller than this over here. That's what she no, said. No, no, no. Uh, it says it right there. Oh, that. In that bigger <laughs> print? Did you just point out the Ugh. bigger print there that is not the print. fine print? No, but, hey, that. fuck that. Okay. Make this not an what imperial is, Hefeweizen. Yeah. Just make it a Hefeweizen with peanut butter flavor. And it would probably be better. But what makes it imperial? It's got more alcohol. That's basically it. Yeah. I thought it was an old school way of doing it. So, uh, Thanks for no. joining us, uh, Alamo and uh, and uh, Wait, Rusty, Rail. Rusty Rail. Rusty Rail. They didn't join us. 
They did not join us, but thanks uh, for listening. Thanks for listening. As we, we had- enjoyed drinking some Alamo and Rusty Rail beers, we had the Alamo IPA, we had the Alamo Amber Lager, we had Blue Collar by Rusty Rail, which is Blue a Collar Blonde. Blonde. I was getting to the fact that it was a blonde. Well, that's not the name of the beer. Blue Collar. Okay, fine. Whatever. Fucks. And uh, <laughs> Fool's Cold Peanut Butter Hefeweizen. Imperial Hef. It doesn't say <laughs> Imperial Hef so, right so, here. So, Clint, <laughs> of these four, for you, which one was your favorite? Blue Collar Blonde. Joel? Well, but, oh, I'm, I was going to ask the same question, but I'm more interested in, like, as breweries. So if you go to Alamo out of the two that you liked, and then out of the Rusty Rail, which ones do you like? Circle. Now, Clinton loved the IPA. <laughs> Come in first. He loved circle. that IPA. It's the Blue Collar Blonde and the Alamo Amber Lager. Yeah. Joel? Those are good beers. Drink those. Shit. I think I'm on the same page. That's fine. Oh, fight it, man. Fight it, Joel. You've been fight saying it. for the past like 30 minutes that we have completely different <laughs> taste balance. Yeah. And now you're on the same page as me. Clint, you and know Joel will always disagree with Joel. Him. And, and Clint, That's true. Fuck you, Clint. In that you case, don't know him. I like I like the blonde, Rusty Rail, um, and all its sexism. And then I like uh, the uh, Alamo... Which has the thing. That's the amber. Do you like the amber uh, or the IPA? IPA. Oh, man, that's from hard. Alamo. Mm. Not as hard what, as cutter one, there. What's your one favorite? I like the amber. I think the IPA, I would pick that over a lot of IPAs. But the amber, I, I'd pick over that IPA. I, mm-hmm. I really liked it. I think it was really great. Ten bone. Uh, blonde, then amber, then peanut butter, and then IPA. The uh, peanut butter hef was my personal favorite. Mm-hmm. Number one? Yeah, that's my number one. What? Uh, I okay. then like the blonde, <laughs> to be 100% honest, and then the IPA, and then the amber. Are any what? of them zeros? You put wow. that filthy IPA above the amber? I wow. did. Is the amber a zero? No, amber's not a zero. It's a one. I enjoyed all of them, but mm-hmm. uh, I actually did enjoy the IPA. But if you put some butter in there... Mm. <laughs> No, I'm sorry. No, butter is not a flavor I want in my beer. Oh, man. You say that. We'll work <laughs> on it. <laughs> Maybe a butter pancake beer or something like that. You'll like it. Joel, you're doing keto, right? Can you, no, you can eat a he's lot not. of. Uh... Not if you drink beer. <laughs> he's oh. watching his calories. Oh. I was watching calories. Sorry. Right? That Remember was a joke I made earlier. He's oh. watching his colonic intake. I'm sorry, caloric intake. <laughs> it's yeah. like, do you know who's not watching their colonic intake? <laughs> Clint, Clint. <laughs> well, I, well, does he not? Does he not watch it? Is it? Oh no! Oh, no I mean, he's he, not he Get a camera. I got you some. I got some mirror up. set up. Yeah. Oh, a mirror. That'll work too. Well, he has mirror, mirror on the wall. <laughs> is it the wall? I'm trying to think of. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> is he gonna swallow uh, them all? There you go. All six. Six is it, pack. Is it like a six, six pack? It's a hot dog. <laughs> it's a ten pack. Whoa. <laughs> oh my goodness. But only Hebrew nation. Uh, yeah, you gotta keep it kosher. <laughs> yeah, keep it kosher. <laughs> Those aren't cut, right? Anyway, anyway, Ross. Ross Those are already cut. Where are you at, Ross? <laughs> I am not into the hot dogs. <laughs> you don't think um, you don't think you are? I <laughs> Not a fan. I'm not a fan of hot dog. Chili dogs. Put some chili on there. Just like, oh, yeah. A little rusty for an election. <laughs> what, what about- they, they, have to, they have to have cheese. Why, why would you get a dog without cheese? What know. about some hot dog water? I put hot dog water in my ice cube trays. So when the uh, cutter comes around. Oh, he comes around. Put it in oh, his he drinks comes there. Around. So when he comes back. <laughs> Don't call it come back. Don't call it come back. <laughs> so right, sticky. Guys, we apologize for this latest episode. <laughs> yeah, we, we apologize no, we for every episode. I think we should but... apologize to Ross for having to edit this episode. <laughs> uh, yeah, this, this. I think a lot of this is usable. A lot of, e- a lot a lot of, of editing is. for this one, though. <laughs> but yeah. So, but yeah, I like. I probably go with the Amber Lager as my as favorite. Your number one? Really? Yeah. Yeah. Really. Huh. And probably the Fool's Gold. The Peanut butter, imperial hef, and probably the blue collar blonde. After that, I wasn't a fan of that really. 
and the IPA last. So Cutter, you're Which the only one who put that IPA, IPA. filth above mm. any other and beer. Prob- yep. Maybe the blonde. If the blonde, if there's any other blonde, like the blonde was not bad, but I it get wasn't what you're saying. bad, but right, so there's better beers out there. Nah, I feel there's like better that, beers I feel to like drink. There's a lot of blondes. You Disagree. see them, you're like, I'll pick this blonde over that blonde, and that's no, a real no. blonde. And then there's the fake bleach blonde, and like you're the like, Dallas I'll um, yeah, no, <laughs> that old Dallas blonde. Give me, you know? give me, give that me a dirty blonde. blonde any day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 No, no. This is definitely better than the Dallas Blonde. I wouldn't say that. I. But that's my I'm opinion. I've said it multiple times now. I know you did. Yeah, I'm and, sure you know. Yeah. You son of a bitch. All right, what? guys. Well, yeah. thank you for joining us on this magical adventure. Uh, Clint has we had went a lot all the way from that Imperial San head. Antonio. I, I probably had the most to D Town. D Town. What's D Town? Dallas. No, it's no. Uh, what? 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 Oh, Mifflin. Sorry, up to M Town. <laughs> yeah, Mifflin. M Town. Mifflinburg. 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 Dunder Mifflinburg, PA. Mithril. All right, close it out. We ran the the ramparts of banana. Some amazing, amazing clove. A little bit of peanut <laughs> oh, <it's> butter. Clove. <laughs> Rolling blackout. There was some clove in there. Oh, there was clove. The hef. You couldn't pick I up the clove? Admit, okay. Ask Cutter about okay. the goddamn clove. He'll pick it up. We climbed the hills of peanut butter and then went into the low, low valleys of hops. But you know what, guys? We made it out okay. <laughs> Did we make the highs of hot dogs? <laughs> <laughs> no. The highs. I think those are lows. Those, those, are, are, those, those, are, those are lows. Those Some are bottoms. Do, though. Those are bottoms, if you will. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, enough of bottoms for this week. But uh, I'm Tony. I mean, that's where you get your power from. This power is <laughs> Nice. This is Ross. This is Clint. Joel's there. This and is... Th- oh. Who are you? I already said he, this he is, is a podcast. Did he say Cutter? Yeah. Oh, my yeah, gosh. I went right after who can't, you. Who can't stay on? And this is the podcast. And this is the, the podcast. podcast. Wow. This, this is, is the, the podcast. podcast. Clint. This is the podcast. What the fuck? <laughs> Three Beers In is a proud member of the Hopped Up Network. Thanks for sticking around. You can subscribe to us on iTunes, Stitcher, Podbean, Google Play, TuneIn, and on the hoppedupnetwork.com. If you like what you heard, rate and review us on iTunes. Like us on Facebook. Follow us on Instagram and Twitter at Three Beers In Podcast and check out our website, Three Beers In Podcast.com. Three, the number three beers in podcast.com. You can find information about us and the show along with the links to all of our episodes and our really cool merchandise. While you're on our site, you can tell us what you like, what you don't like. And if you don't like us, then why the hell are you still here? You should have turned us off long ago. But if you're just going to listen to us anyway, then you should probably subscribe too. And if you'd like a transcript of our podcast, write down everything that we just said. Is that what Dunkaroos are? If you are looking for more beer podcasts just like the one you're listening to right now, then head on over to hoppedupnetwork.com. We are a podcast network focused on our local craft beer communities. 
Here's a quick example of one of the many podcasts you will find. I'm Caroline King. And I'm Ashley Powers. And we are the hosts of Bitch Beer. Beer. Every other Tuesday, we feature the women who brew, market, distribute, serve, and love beer in the hopes that their stories will inspire the women and men who haven't taken the plunge. We want to dispel the myth that craft beer is scary. We're here to prove that the days of being ridiculed for drinking bitch beer are over. Any beer can be bitch beer. Beer doesn't care who's drinking it. You can find us on iTunes, SoundCloud, Stitcher, and right here on the Hopped Up Network. Cheers! Cheers.